Hello everybody and welcome to the third game of my three game set of the uh, um, Double Dragon Trilogy for the Game Boy. Alright. Um, that's a weird thing to do. Um, anyway, so the third game in this trilogy is Double Dragon 3 and it's based off of the third game for the regular, well, regular Nintendo, but actually probably more the arcade version, and uh, the Sega Genesis version, which we've pretty much already done a playthrough of on our, on the Pretty Gamers channel. Um, I'm going to find out if there's anything different with this game, and also just collect footage of it for a review that, for a review, so, let's begin. Alright. Uh, right ahead right now. I got a few lives here. Okay, this is weird already. Ow. Ow. Knowing how obnoxious these enemies are. I don't have my one move that I like. That's annoying. Alright. Let's grab those two things. Alright, um, power up. I'm pretty sure if. Uh, what power up does is give you more health and uh, life should give you more lives. I don't know how many more lives, um, but it should give me more. It is said this game does not actually have my uh, the ability from the previous game we just seen because it should actually be in this game because the uh, Sega Genesis version of this game is where that ability came from is where I recognize that ability from, so... I mean, it totally should be in this game. It's not. Uh, it looks like I'm safe right here, so... No. Alright. You're dead. Oh crap, more of these guys. Oh, what? Three of them! No. Oh, these guys are obnoxious as all heck. Hey, I don't like these guys already. Ouch. I can't tell who's winning the fist fights. Obviously, it's these guys, which is annoying. Sucks how these generic thugs have more priority of punch than I do. This is a way to do that move. Oh, that might have been it. Alright, anyway. Keep out. Ow. Ow. Hey. No. They have safe taste for a reason. You know, I love it when you have to do a specific timed motion in order to practically do that. But it is so precise. So annoying. That's cool. Look yeah, that move still. Let's see. 
they don't fall for that at all. See how this whole thing plays out. I know you just get the one set of lives. But as far as let's see how this plays out. I hate. Okay, this is getting annoying. I want to see if I do do a certain technique, but apparently I can't. You don't have that certain technique in this game, apparently. Hi. First stone is in China. The battle is waiting for you, Double Dragon. Alright, cool. Alright, do I get any more coins? I got some extra coins. Alright, let's grab those. I think I need those. It's just a more powerful jump kick. It's a trick. Oh, I forgot to say it at the end of the stage. Crap. You know what? And for the fact they can hit the back of my feet, it, this would be a great hiding spot. If they can totally hit me from up here. Look at our YouTube goobers before I go fight that guy. Ow. Maybe something that's nice is, is if there's some way I could actually overpower you in any way. Wow. I, I have to say, okay, I'm, I'm just gonna throw this out here. But I have to say, Double Dragon 3 is probably um, the worst out of all the Double Dragons. Um... Even though the Sega Genesis port, the Sega Genesis port's fun. Because you have enough continues that any shortcomings the game actually has is covered up by the fact that it's still a beat up You have a bunch of lives. And you can use your lives on extra things. Like, uh, power-ups and stuff like that. Um, I think all I'm going to get for this game is just the uh, first couple phases here because I I don't feel like, even if I felt like I tried to save state spam in this game, I feel like I'd still be getting my butt kicked by everything because, I mean, just look at this. You don't even have like the invincibility frames you normally do. Oh, that might be it again. It's the whole invin weird invincibility frame this game has. I completely forgot about that. <sighs> Let's power up a weapon this time. Oh yeah, this is totally gonna help me. It is. Because I keep the weapon in my hand. And 
axes of knockdown. Hmm. Very nice. Even if I am unlucky to get beat up, I still have at least the ability to kind of fight back. If I knock them down once, there. If I hit them once, it knocks them down. Okay, let's. Play my little dildo uh, thing at you. Yeah, okay. It lasts one life, but it's decent. Wow. Okay. Well, let's see how far I can get. Complete another crap, but let's just see how far I can get here. I might still be able to beat like stage two here. Let me see what I can get in stage three. On. The only difference between this and the Sega Genesis one, other than the fact you don't get like a gazillion coins, it's just the fact that, and the coins can be used as continues. That's another major factor too. Is that you don't really have the weird invincibility frames. I mean, like the moment you get up, you can be instantly kicked back down. But the only thing that helps you in that game, lie, live. And also, like, made sense with the enemies, is not even present in this game. The only thing that made that whole, that particular game even remotely fair, on that and 25 lives. Okay. I'm not even trying anymore. This, this is. I'm pretty much taking care of this. this is, I mean, after I beat this guy, this is as far as I'm going. I just want to see what the next next level has to offer. As far as, like, power-ups and stuff. You see, do I remember anything? But I just... Okay, I can get the trick, but... Yeah, sure. It might help me here. No. Damn it. Damn it. See, it's just you don't have any way of protecting yourself. I mean this guy right here is just pretty much the prime example of it. Anytime he hits me, he knocks me down. And I can't get... I don't have any techniques or anything that just keeps him at a distance. I, I mean, the idea of this is just that you're trading blows. You're trading blow for blow. That's not how beat em up games work. You know. As far as, you know, actually wanting to, com actually being able to complete them and stuff. The thing is with beat em up games, you're supposed to have different techniques and stuff that work in different situations. That allow you to actually beat your opponent. But all this is, is just. Bam. Anyway, let's grab the first weapon, see what that is. Wow. 
It's about as good as the punch. Wow. It's a little stick you just smack your opponent with. Alright. I mean, honestly, it's a little bit more effective than the... Than the, uh... Than the punch, because it actually works. But, other than that... about it. It's a little bit more effective because it actually works. Compared to the actual punch. Which is sad. I mean, honestly, your main means of defense should not be your weakest. Let's just put it that way. I mean, that's just like a rule for like beat em up games. There should be a rule for just beat em up games in general. Your main form of attack should not be your weakest. I mean, your punches should be a valuable option. I mean, they can be your weakest, but they cannot be detrimental. This, in this case, the punch is detrimental. You can't even use it. You'll just get into fist fights, you can't win. And that's not good. I mean, pretty much the only way I'm even winning right now is because I have this thing. And I lost it. And I've lost this game. That's it. Bye. Um. There's not even left, but it's just gathering footage, so. Um, bye.